What's up lords and ladies, welcome back to another video on this channel. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you how to care for a old bearded dragon. As many of you guys know, I have acquired a bearded dragon that's about 12 years old. Now, when a bearded dragon reaches that age, they do require special need and uh, special uh, you know, attention to detail. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys, I guess, part one to how to take care of a bearded dragon of that age. So with that being said, let's just get started with this video. Let's go. Okay, so this right here is Dragon. Now, Dragon happens to be about 12 years old. So she is a lot older than all of my bearded dragons and she does require some attention to detail. Now, the very first thing, you know, I, I've gotten this bearded dragon um, not too long ago. So the very first thing I'd like to do is basically examine the bearded dragon to see basically what I have to work with. Um, just based off some observation, I can already see that she has some stiffness to her limbs. Now, this could be a result of many things, but at this age, it's a very common thing that happens to bearded dragons. Once they reach the age of 10 years, they normally start to age um, and they start developing some complications when it comes to either walking or eating. So it is very important at this point to, you know, understand that the bearded dragon is going through some changes. It's just like us humans when we get older, you know, we might have stiffness on the back, stiffness on the legs. Uh, so the same thing with bearded dragons, they do develop um, some stiffness, what I've noticed. However, there is ways that you could obviously prevent all of that. It could also be genetics, but diet is key. Now, because, you know, I can't really do much when it comes to her stiffness, I do have to work around it. So the very first thing that I'm gonna be doing is placing her in the bath. So I have her in the sink here. Um, she is really dirty right now. Um, so I am gonna be giving her a nice warm bath and basically cleaning her up, seeing if she even wants to drink some water. So I am gonna place her water right on her face. Now she's honestly just gorgeous and precious. Um, you know, the fact that she's much older, she does need, like I said, some attention to detail um, when it comes to special care. So I am gonna take precautions of being very gentle with her, you know, placing her in nice warm water. Look at her, she's like just, I guess her spirits are being lifted. <laughs> oh my God, girl, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna get you back. Yeah, she's placed her face in the water. I don't know if she's drinking, but it is a little bit, you know, sometimes a little bit sad when you see your bearded dragons, you know, struggling either to move or to do things that they would normally be able to do. But in her case, you know, I'm gonna do my best to clean her up to lift up her spirits uh, and maybe see what I could do. You know, if consulting with a vet, you know, is gonna help or what I could do to basically get her back um, into better health. Now I am gonna use Dragon Wash to basically clean her off. I'm gonna place some on this scrub. So you can see she has, you know, a bit of poop stuck on her. So this is definitely gonna help to take it off. You know, bearded dragons, sometimes they walk all over their poop, so it's definitely important that you go in there and basically scrub it off. You know, I might fast forward this because this, this, this could be a little messy sometimes, especially if uh, they haven't taken a bath for a good while. So I'm just gonna kind of, it's okay, girl. She's kind of like in the corner. Okay, so a few minutes in and I've let her soak and I've cleaned her up a bit. I'm just gently going on with the brush all over her body. Um, I could tell that she's really not enjoying this. You know, she's really not enjoying this as much. I, I could tell that she's a little bit stressed out. So I'm trying to make this quick and I'm being very gentle when I'm going around the limbs, especially underneath the feet. Sometimes beard dragons get poop there especially underneath the tail. Her tail was a lot more dirtier um, and I managed to basically just brush it and clean it off. You know, that's gonna help with the cleanliness and everything. 
you know then from here I'm gonna soak her in this electrolyte soak to see if that does anything for her but right now just with warm water and being very gentle so you can see she's back and alert and awake as soon as I turned on the water yeah she's not happy it's okay girl it's okay it's gonna be okay so she is now all clean she's wrapped up in that towel um, I did use dragon wash to clean her as well as the scrub so if you want to check this out I guess links will be in the description dragon wash this is almond scent um, but something that I like to do before I basically give them this electrical or electrolyte soak is basically disinfect this whole entire area um, this is something that I don't think I've shown in any of the videos but I go in there and I spray it with chloric hexadine now chloric hexadine is a disinfectant used by vets um, to basically disinfect surfaces and enclosures um, of any type of bacteria in this case because I was cleaning her with poop you know there was poop particles and everything I want to make sure that this is well disinfected as well as the chloric hexadine is all going down the drain before I place her in the water because she's clean and I want her to basically drink some of this so the last thing I want her to do is drink poop particles and get sick so what I'm gonna be doing is letting this sit you know chloric hexadine sprayed make sure I get every single corner every crevice maybe go in there with a scrub and kind of like scrub it in make sure that this whole surface area is disinfected you can purchase chloric hexadine I believe on Amazon sometimes reptile expos have it it comes in a you know concentrated form and then you put it to in, in water and uh, you dilute it so it's really good that's what I use to clean my reptiles I don't like using vinegar because I, I don't believe that vinegar even kills anything. <laughs> it, it tastes really good on fish and chips, but I don't think it, it would do anything when it comes to bacterias. So, you know, now this is nice and disinfected. I'll let this sit for maybe about 10 minutes, then I'll come here and wash it down, and then I'll put her in there. So that way she's in a nice clean, you know, sink and it's not full of poop particles. Yeah. <laughs> I think she's trying to come out. Come here, girl. Where are you going? <laughs> so my goal is to basically get her back inside of the water and hopefully, you know, she could drink um, when I place some of this electrolyte soap. You know, I did a whole entire review basically on how to use this. You get one scoop, you place it in the water and basically theory goes, it adds electrolytes to the water as well as a bunch of vitamins like vitamin B, uh, vitamin B, I don't even know, like there's so many things <laughs> that you could, uh, that it adds. Vitamin B3, vitamin C, vitamin B1, vitamin B5, vitamin B7, a ton of vi vitamins that is really well, really good for your dragon. So, especially because she's been a little bit stressed out, hopefully this could help her with, um, you know, boosting her spirit as well as you know hydrating her if she needs some extra hydration so I'll place her in the water and hopefully she could drink a little bit off of it but even just being in here nice and clean so you could see her tail underneath her belly she's nice and clean her tail you know, no longer has poop she's nice and clean underneath here and by the looks of it it looks like she is drinking. So I'll just leave her right there. So I can see that she's already is more alert now that she's been a couple minutes inside of this soap. So hopefully it is kicking in as well as, you know, the fact that she is nice and clean, you know, uh, there's no bacteria on her. She is now, you know, ready to go back inside of her enclosure. I don't want to mess around with her too much. But I definitely do need to do some things uh, before I place her back inside of the enclosure. So don't worry, girl. You're going to be okay. Like, I know you're a little bit stressed out. You know, her eyes being closed shows me that she does not want anything to do with me. Come on, girl. It's okay. I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm just trying to help. Now, I'm going to be doing multiple videos about how to take care of a bearded dragon of this age but something that i'm going to be doing right now is giving her some multi vitamins 
through the mouth. So this right here, you could screenshot this, is a liquid concentrated uh, multivitamin for bearded dragons. Um, there's the recommended dose. Uh, it is berry flavor. I also, I'm also gonna place the description down below. It is from, so here, right here is the website if you are looking to purchase this. So this is gonna help her out with the vitamin levels. You know, if she's lacking a bit of vitamins, I am just gonna go open her mouth. It's okay, girl. It's okay, I know. Okay, you opened it for me. Oh, oh okay, she did not like that. Okay, 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 it's okay. It's okay, girl. So, you know, bearded dragons, you know, they do require a lot of vitamins. And since, you know, I don't know when was her last meal, you know, sometimes they become picky eaters when they're an adult. So you do, you know, you are recommended to step in and interfere and give them multivitamins. Um, and in this case, she did a good job by eating that. So hopefully in the upcoming weeks, we could see a different change. I can already see that she is a little bit more alert, but at the same time, you know, it could just be that she's trying to run away, but there's no reversing you know, the stiffness that she has and all of that, but I can give her the best life that I possibly can. So you can see she's having a hard time kind of, you know, just maneuvering. So I don't want to mess around with her too much. I am going to consult with a vet to, you know, just for further examination to see what, you know, uh, is going on. If there's anything that I could do to maybe reverse some of the stiffness and everything in that, uh, so on and so forth. But if any of you guys in the comment section down below could reach out to me, you know, and we could have a conversation and, you know, fur get further information because at the end of the day, I, I did not raise this dragon, so I don't know exactly what's going on. Just based off my experience and everything, I could definitely see that she has a lot of stiffness on her limbs, as well as, you know, I still don't know how she eats and uh, how responsive she is. Some of her nails, as you can see, they're a little bit bent. So there is that as well. You know, her feet do look a little bit puffy. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, she is a much older bearded dragon. She's about 12 years old. So, you know, a lot of that comes with age. But at the same time, some bearded dragons, they age really well. And others... You know don't age that well so I'm gonna do my best to give her the best life that I possibly can even though right now she hates me <laughs> she does not want anything to do with me but so far gave her an electrolyte soak I gave her some multivitamins I also cleaned her off so that is all that I'm gonna do right now but hopefully you guys stay tuned I'm definitely gonna be making more videos of her and I'm gonna be you know looking into you know, what more information I could share with you and what we could learn off of this bearded dragon. So it's okay, girl, you're gonna be fine. It's okay. So hopefully you, you know, learned a thing or two in this video. If you guys did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'm Lord of Lion, keep the blood pumping. This is Dragon, and I'll see you guys so in my next here we video. Go. Peace. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification.